Greetings, Bat Prince here, and today it is Bat uh, uh, reading Santa's Big Sack. Ho, yeah. ho, 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 ho. <laughs> but it's Christmas. Yeah. Actually, Christmas today. Yeah. It is, yeah. <laughs> That's Wednesday. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Following is a work of satirical fiction. Any resemblance to actual persons, living or dead, or uh, dead, it's gone! <laughs> Going quick enough. No, I'm not quick enough. In oh man, that's loud it's bells. Snowing. Oh, hello, Cappy. Yeah, he's been working all year. So, you want me to do the cram Cramador? Yeah. Okay. Cramador Gumbel Hunt's the name, and greeting, folks, is my game. Oh. Guess you must be the new guy, eh? Hey. Uh. Whoa, how'd you know that? Can you read minds? Trust me, it ain't like we get many visitors this far north. What on account of the fact that this here place is what you call frozen hellscape? Soon as I saw your long... What was that word? Gangly. Gangly. Gangly body coming over the ridge. I says to myself, why, that's got to be this Rooney Nobel character that boss keeps an eye out for. It's actually pronounced Rudy Noel, if you don't mind. You know, like a lazy Christmas reference? I don't get it. Are you like Rudolph? I no, think so. Oh, no, well, I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, whatever. Say it's to someone who cares. Like, <laughs> look, you want to meet the fat man or what? <laughs> you mean Santa Claus? No, the Easter Bunny. Huh. Of course I mean Santa Claus, you big stupid elf. <laughs> What's the matter? You bring not big enough to oxygen up in there in the clouds? Goodness, this uh, crammer door is quite the rude little fellow. Should I act naughty and insult him right back, or be nice and reassure him that I'm a good guy? Oh, oh we get to mm. choose naughty or nice. Oh, you choose. No, this is your character. I'm being everybody else. Just you... be nice for now. Being nice for now. Yeah, and you get to see any cool. Sorry, Mr. Great uh, Grundy Horn. I swear I didn't mean to offend. I want you to know that I've come here to the North Pole with only the very best of intent. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Storko. As far as I'm concerned, your good intentions ain't worth a, but a lump of coal. I'm sorry that's how you feel, but I hope to prove you wrong. Perhaps by the end of all this. Uh, you and I could grow to be best of friends. Ugh. Yeah, right. A short stud like me pounding around with a long leg freakazoid like you. Yeah. Forget it, stilts. It could never happen. What do I look like? Uh, just a normal person, but he's short, so he calls you stilts. We enter Santa's magical factory and begin to make our way down long, mysterious hallway. Oh, it's oh gosh. Time for uh, a base swell of tinkling and toy making fills the air as we step towards the glowing red light at the end of the path. A lump of nervous energy catches in my throat. Suddenly the doors open as though in a flash, revealing a shadowy someone holding a sash. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Twinkling light rains down like falling snow, giving a luster of jolliness to a figure below. It stands tall and mighty, tans by his beard, eyes twinkling with fire, chest more shirtless than I feared. <laughs> with a bundle of toys pressed up against his back, I could tell right away that he had a big sack. His pecs, how they shimmer, his dimples, how merry, his nose like rose, cheeks red as a cherry. His droll little mouth is drawn up like a bow, with a beard on his chin, coloured white as fresh snow. He's got a broad face and a round little belly, with a bulge in his pants like a bowl full of jelly. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, hello there! Why, you must be Rudy. Thank you for coming all this way. The elves and I are so very pleased you decided to join us here at the North Pole. Santa, you're... 
The muscles are so big. It comes from delivering so many presents. Mm. Stuffing stockings, sliding down chimneys, and unloading my sack. It's quite the workout. Bubby and plump and right jol jolly old elf. And I got hard when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head. Soon gave me a uh, soon gave me to pitch take taking me to bed. That's right. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> I mean it, Rudy. I really am pleased as figgy pudding to have you here. Never before had I ever considered that I'd find myself panting after one quite so full figured. I hate to admit it, I hope it's not sick, but I feel like I'm falling for good old Saint Nick. What? Falling. Good God, this is crazy. What should I do? Naughty or nice, my pizza too. Options. Naughty. Do you want to be naughty? What do you think? Naughty. Punish. You punish. Forget it, Santa baby. The pleasure's all mine. My, Me, personally, I'm all about getting those gloves on that pole. Ugh. If you know what I mean. Wink, wink. I don't know what it means. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. How refreshing to meet a young person so passionate about science! Don't worry, my boy. You have plenty of time to study Earth's magnetic pole while you're here. Wait, no, that's not what I... Yeah, look here, Bigfoot. Being Mr. C's assistant ain't all fun and all reindeer games. It's a lot of work. Capiche? Oh, relax, Cramador. You'll scare the poor lad. Ho, ho, ho. Just because we're working hard doesn't mean we can't have fun, and it certainly doesn't mean we can't play games. Wouldn't you agree, Rudy? Audio nice, I better think twice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice? Okay. Sure, Santa, whatever you say. Work hard, play games hard, that's the motto. Ah, oh, wise guy, eh? Um. That's the spirit, my boy. Keep up that holly jolly attitude and you'll fit in here just fine. Ho ho ho. Thanks, boss. That means a lot coming from you. So should I start helping you make some toys now or something? Dented chuckles letting out a hearty ho ho ho. Making toys, baking cookies, these are all the things elves can do. What I need from you as my personal assistant is to serve as my eyes, ears here at the North Pole. Watch over things when I'm not around, intermediate disputes, and for God's sake, don't let the reindeer unionize. Oh, and I'll probably need you to do a little manual labor too, but like I said, that's not the important part. No, that'd be a union busting, right? Oh, oh, don't think of it that way, son. I'm just asking you to keep the peace. Oh, and keep an eye on Mrs. Claus for me, would you? She's been... different lately. Mm. I can't quite put my big sack on it, but I'm afraid she's growing unhappy. Oh. it ain't so, Santa. Your marriage is in trouble? Oh no, I wouldn't go that far. Miss Claus and I still eat, love each other dearly. I just, it's just, I get so darn busy during this part of the year. What with almost being Christmas and all, and it can be hard to make time to tend to her needs. You'll, uh, you'll take care of her for me, won't you, Rudy? Uh, yeah, sure, boss. Whatever you need. Take her out dancing and show her a good time, but stay away from the mistletoe. Oh, oh, I'm just kidding, Rudy. I know I can trust you. And he sits down his big stack, placing his muscular hands upon my shoulders. And don't... And do you know why I know that I can trust you? Because nobody fucks with Santa Claus? Sorry. 
skip it out. No. <laughs> he shakes his head slowly, a gentle smile crossing his cherry red lips. Heaven words, Rudy. Pure of heart and noble of spirit. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, sure, I remember. It was written to help wanted ad I saw for this place. Those aren't just words, Rudy. They're words to live by. And whether you know it or not, live by them you do. That's why the ad showed itself to you in the first place, after all. Uh, hold up, you're saying that was a magical help wanted ad? Why not? Everything else here is. But, but Mr. Claus or Santa, I'm not even sure I know what those words mean. Pure of heart and noble of spirit? Really now, doesn't that strike you as just a teensy bit old fashioned? I mean, come on, we're living in the modern, moral, ambiguous 21st century, and I'm thoroughly modern, morally ambiguous kind of 21st century guy. Sure, I'm nice sometimes, but that doesn't mean I can't be naughty every now and then. Truth be told, I think a lot of us struggle to even be tell the difference between the two these days. Not me, my friend. Not good old Saint Nick. I always know what counts as being naughty and what counts as being nice, and I never cross the line. Naughty. Be naughty. Oh, be nice. Be nice. Gosh, Mr. Claus, I wish I could be half the man you are. Not size-wise or anything, just like morally, I mean. <laughs> if you want to be nice, then be nice. It's just that simple. I know the world might seem like a crazy place sometimes, but if you keep being a good person, it'll all just work out fine. Listen to your heart, Rudy. Listen to your heart. heart. Listen to your heart. Let it be your compass. My heart? Right. Till today, I never thought of Santa Claus as anything but sexless, aging, fat, fat so, with more beard than brawn. Find a guy who spends too much time around kids and cookies for his own good. <laughs> I mean, sure. I've always wanted to work for him, maybe even idolise him, but it certainly never felt like I was falling in love with him. Now though? Now I'm not so sure. Santa, can I tell you something that really knock your socks off? I think you're a swell guy. Oh, oh why thank you, Rudy. I think you're a swell guy too. Back. <laughs> Larry. Oh, Larry, my lad, there you are. Rudy, meet my trusted intern here at the North Pole, Larry Lopez. He was just out at the local penguin village picking me up some fancy new bells for the reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. Pleasure to meet you, guy. I doubt you need an introduction to me, but just in case, I'm the mighty Larry, and yes, all the horrible stories you heard about me are true. Nah. Nah. I guess I'm what you might call a reoccurring character, know what I mean? Oh wow, that's... Wait, what? Wasn't he in the president when we played? I can see those bells, can I see those bells, Larry? I'm so eager to sh see how shiny and beautiful they look. Oh yeah, the bells. I, uh, left them in the stables, I think. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the stables. That's what, huh? Well, no trouble. I'll just see them later, I suppose. Thanks again for picking them up for me, Larry. Oh, -ho. Such a valuable part of our organization, and someone I know I can really count on. That's right, fat boy. <laughs> Keep taking the bait. <laughs> Well, he seems suspicious. Oh, come all ye faithful, Randy. Don't be ridiculous. Rudy. <laughs> Whatever. Larry's my most trusted intern. An all-round nice guy. Come to think of it, he's my only intern. An unpaid one for that. 
Don't worry though, I'm sure he's not bitter that you got the personal assistant job over him. Hmm. Was getting this job something he was interested in? Oh, you bet. Yeah, he really lobbied for it hard. Keep talking about how he'd worked faithfully by side for so long that he deserved it, but in the end I felt it was best to go with an outside hire. In that case, it doesn't sound like he's got anything to consider about at all. Hard to see we're both on the same page. Ho ho ho. Now then, I'd better inspect the sleigh and make sure she's in tip top shape for a big flight. Why don't you go check in on Mrs. Claus for me and introduce yourself in the meantime? Naughty. It's gonna be naughty. Okay, we're clicking naughty. Better watch your back, Santa. <gasps> I'd hate to have you steal your girl right before Christmas. That's rude. Why did you say that? <gasps> Donna's droppings. What a naughty thing to say. Don't blame me, old man. Ain't my fault the ladies can't keep their paws off me. Listen here, you little cocky little shit. You better watch your mouth unless you want some coal in your stocking for the next 50 years. <laughs> Relax, Mr. C. I'm just pushing your buttons. No offense, but I'm actually interested in chasing after frumpy old ladies, all right? Oh. You have no idea what my wife looks like, do you? Uh, I mean, I'm assuming she's like super old and dusty or whatever, but maybe has a nice personality. You just watch yourself, Rudy, all right? You just watch yourself. <laughs> Whoa, Santa seems pissed. Was it something I said? Yeah, you clicked the naughty button. Naughty. Naughty. Punish. Hush. Ting, tingling, tingling. Excuse me, I'm looking for the lady of the house. Is there a Mrs. Claus around here? Well, damn. Well, button my button, call me Biscuit. Would you look at that, what, at the reindeer dried in? You're gonna be the first part. That's yeah. cool. I imagine you must be the new boy, Mrs. Mr. Claus is breaking in. If I don't miss my guess. Um, yes, ma'am. I suppose that's true. Stand hypnotized before the gorgeous red-headed vixen, transfixed by the rhythm of her slippery southern drawl. Make sure you give her a southern accent. Extends her arm towards me, rushing along. Red, ruby, red acrylics against my palm as I take her hand in mine and kiss. Uh, I do declare. Charmed, I'm sure. Now then, boy, do you have a name? You see, I always like to get the first and last of my fellows I let kiss my wrist. Sounds like she's been looking. <laughs> um, yeah, Rudy's the name, ma'am. Rudy Noel, that is. Mmm, mm, Rudy Noel. My, my. What an absolutely delicious collection of syllables. I do say so myself. What? Where is it you come from, Mr. Rudy Noel? That they rise up stra strapping young men such as yourself like big old pumpkins on the patch. Oh, no special, ma'am. Well, in that case, I might just have to pack my bags and visit this Noah special if they got more of you running around there. Oh, come on now. I'm really not that tall, Barley, even six feet. I don't know if you've had occasion to look around much since you got here, but we yield a rather short crop of men in these parts if you catch my meaning. Not here. Not here. You're saying the guys here are pretty much all tiny elves? Oh, okay. Bongi, bingo, bingo, bango, baby. Boingo, boingo. You know, boingo, like that boingo, Denny Elfman bingo, band. Bango, bango, baby. Now you're cooking with gas. Uh, yeehaw, ma'am. <laughs> Sorry, did I use that wrong? Right. More or less. But you've got to let yourself feel the passion in it, understand? Not particularly, no. Anyways, if I might uh, con 
Confine to hand, dog to flog a possum, or whatever it is you people say. <laughs> I could use your help with something. Why, well, most certainly, my young city sleek friend. All you gotta do is ask. You see, I'm looking uh, looking for a woman. This is close to be exact. Why, well, kiss my crits and bash whack my blumpkin. It's, is that right? Married to Mr. Claus, lives here in the North Pole and is probably a really chubby chaser. <laughs> if her husband's anything got to go by. I haven't seen a picture of her or anything, but I'm gonna guess she's like super old or whatever. You know, grey hair, thick glasses, typical grandma vibe. I don't mean to shatter your pre uh, preconceived notions, Mr. Rudy Noel, but I know Jennifer St. Christmas Claus and she ain't no old lady. Oh my god, were you not listening to me, you dumb southern hick? I just told you she's a real grandma type. And I'm telling you, she ain't. Ain't. Okay, dum dum, let me walk you through this. Oh man. You've heard of Santa Claus, right? Big beard, big belly, big personality. Sure, oh, sure, sounds familiar. Well, the other famous thing about this guy is he's an incredibly old man. Like, we're talking very, very withered and ancient. A real crypt keeper type. Crypt keeper. Therefore, I figure his wife's got to be halfway to a corpse herself, know what I mean? That was a quite uh, the display of deductive reasoning, Mr. Noel. But I'm afraid there's just one teensy problem with your theory. And what is that, toots? I am Mrs. Claus! <gasps> bum, oh, no, bum, no, bum. Da, and on that bombshell. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Merry holidays. Merry holidays. And I'll see you tomorrow. Ah.